Hi, and welcome to Creative Chelsea. Today, I'd like to share with you some last minute celebration card ideas because celebration is almost over. Celebration is a great time to purchase stamping up products because with every qualifying purchase of either $50 or $100, you can receive free items. So the free products I'm using on our cart today include the So Very Vellum Specialty Designer Series paper, and it's got this beautiful texture to it, and it comes in three colors, and you get two sheets of each color. So you get a soft sea foam green. I don't know if you can tell, but that's green. You get the pool party in blue, and then the purple posy. And that's the color we're using on the background of our cart today, but it really would work beautifully with any of those colors. And then the second free thing I'm using on today's card is the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set and its coordinating punch. So you can get each one of these things for free with different qualifying purchases. And I do love this Thoughtful Blooms. It's tiny little flowers, but when you put them together, it can really add a great impact to your card. And then the punch just coordinates perfectly with it and you don't want to miss it because fussy cutting all those flowers would be such a pain. So if you would like to get these things for free, you can purchase Stamping Up products from my online store and then select the celebration items you'd like for free. And the link to go to the store is in the description box below. So to start with this card, you're going to need three different colors of ink. And I'm using Flirty Flamingo, Granny Apple Green, and Bermuda Bay. And I just thought that these three colors go perfectly together and kind of get you ready for that spring summertime feeling. I'm going to be stamping all the flowers on a one inch strip of cardstock and I'm using the Very Vanilla cardstock. Because these images are photopolymer, I'm also using a paper piercing mat so I get a nice clean image. You're also going to need a cleaning pad and I'm using the Simply Chamois. So we're using the large solid, we're using this medium solid and the small solid, as well as the striped flowers from the stamp set. So let's start with our flirty flamingo. And we're going to be doing the um, second generation stamping, I think is what it's called, or generation stamping. So you're just going to ink it up and then you're going to stamp it down. Now you're going to want to make sure you stamp it in the same direction that the punch cuts. So you'll notice that you have two at the bottom and one at the top. And so you're going to want to make sure you stamp that way. So without re-inking, you're going to get another image with that same color. So you can see we have a dark and a light, and this is called generation stamping. And you're going to do this five times, so you get 10 different images. So this is a strip that's 11 inches long and it's perfect for those 10 flowers. So now you're going to choose which design you want to do in the middle. And for my card, I want to use the medium solid flower and you're just going to ink it up and you're only stamping inside the light flower. So just kind of line it up as best you can and stamp it inside your flower. Okay, so these turned out pretty good, but my original card, I did have some mishaps and wasn't able to get them right in the middle. So that's okay, you can just, you can either restamp them or you can use them because these are handmade cards and so imperfections are just going to happen. Okay, so now we're going to clean. So make sure to clean your large flower 
And while you're at it, might as well clean that medium flower. Let's go ahead and use the Granny Apple Green next. And you're going to do the exact same thing. Stamp one full strength and then do a second one that's lighter. Okay, now I wanted my green one to feel a little bit more like a leaf. And so we're using the striped flower for that. So just line it up over the light flower and stamp it down. Okay, so there we go. You'll notice that some of these are not perfectly aligned and that's okay. So let's clean those stamps. And then we're going to use the Bermuda Bay last. And I've got a smaller strip for this one. Um, not because I needed it, just because these were in my um, extra paper stash. And so I didn't have any more 11 inch. So we're still stamping 10. So one full strength and one little bit lighter. Make sure to give them enough space between so that you can punch them out. All right, so I got four or eight, I guess, on that one. So then I'll need two more for this one. Whoops, I almost re-inked it. Oh, still need that. So for this one, we're using the tiny solid flower, and that's just gonna go in the center of the light flower. Okay, so there we are all done stamping our flowers. So the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna punch out the flowers and you're just going to line it up. So turn the punch over, line up the image so that it fits inside and then punch it out. And I'm going to just do this to all 30 flowers and I'm gonna probably pause the video and then come back when these are all done. Okay, so I've punched out all my flowers. I've separated them into groups and I've got some glue dots. And what we're going to do, we're going to, we could actually add the vellum to our card. So we're going to be creating a, like a swooping, design with the flowers and so we're going we can add some adhesive in that kind of general direction on our vellum and then I am going to use some glue dots in the corners and then just place this so this piece of vellum I've cut to four inches by five and a quarter and so that just gives us a slim little border around our vellum Okay, so now we can place our flowers down and we can keep them from coming off our card. If you do want them to come off your card, you'll just need to trim them so that um, they can fit in an envelope. And we do want to actually put down our greeting. So I've got a strip, a one inch strip, and it's four inches, so one by four inches. And we kind of just wanna generally put this down where we think we want it. So let's go ahead and stamp that first. So our greeting comes from the stamp set Beautiful Day, and I just loved how this 
um, script works really well with the flowers. And it just says, happy birthday. May your day be as beautiful as you. And so I've got that on a clear block. And this, I have the older um, stamp. And so it's not a clean stamp. And so that's why it doesn't have the image on the back. And we're stamping it in the Bermuda Bay. And just kind of center it on the four inch strip. Good pressure. Oh, looks like I got too much ink. So flip your card around and do it again. Don't press so hard. Center, stamp. There we go. Okay, so we're going to kind of place our happy birthday greeting in the center of our card and a little bit to the right. We wanna make sure we leave some space for the ribbon. So I just put one glue dot on the back and I'm just going to place it temporarily here. So that way I can place the flowers around it. And we're going to just start with all the solid flowers first and then we add the, the flowers that have a little more detail to the top of those flowers. So these flowers will all be added with a glue dot and you can just start with any color you want and just start placing them in that, that kind of that shape. I kind of like to do all the same flower color first. Um, that kind of helps me see that I'm spacing them out well and kind of getting an idea on where they should go. I'm gonna place this one under there in that corner. And then I'm gonna mimic that one down here in this corner and then place one kind of between everything right about here. Okay, let's do the blue next. So there are some blue ones. And then the solid pink. So down here we can kind of see a formation of like threes happening. And then up here they're kind of all just squished together. So now we're going to place the detailed flowers and I'm going to be using some mini dimensionals for that so that they have a little more um, depth to the card. And you can place these anywhere you'd like. And I did only use um, three of each color even though I have five for my first card. But you can use as many as you, as you want that looks good to you. So this will come up and sit on top of these so we can cover it up just slightly. So there you have all the flowers and if you want you can always add more. So the next thing we're going to do for our card is we're gonna add some ribbon. Now I have this ribbon, it's the natural trim with a little silver um, inside. I'm not really sure where I got it or when I got it, but I thought it would be perfect for this card. Um, you could use twine, you could use a white ribbon, um, a ribbon that matches your colors. You could dye something with a blends or um, an ink refill. So you can really use whatever you have laying around, which is kind of what I wanted to do today. I'm going to do about 17, 18 inches of this trim. 
going to add some adhesive to the back. And because this is a thicker ribbon, I'm going to add a, kind of a lot of adhesive. And then you're just going to kind of wrap it back and forth with a little bit of a loop on each side. And you just want to kind of make sure those loops are about the same distance. Okay, so they look up to be about the same. And then you're just trimming the ends. You can do it at an angle or straight, whatever you like. And then this gets added with dimensionals. And I'm going to use the bigger dimensionals for this. So you want to make sure that your ribbon, if it comes off just a little bit, and then... Oh, you know what? That pink flower is totally disappeared by the ribbon. So let's move that. And let's move, let's move that green one too, just a little bit. Okay. So let's place down our greeting. Just want to make sure it's straight. And then that dimensional lost its stickiness. So I'm just going to rub it off and add a second one. I'm going to place it in the same general area, but just up out a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. And then this pink one, probably the same thing. Right around. Well, maybe I'll add it up here. There we go. We are going to add some pearls. So I've just got some pearls and they're in white, which I think will be a nice little contrast to the vanilla so that they kind of pop. And we're just going to add three. And I've got my pickup tool. So just going to do a large one. You can put that down. And we're just going to add them to a couple of the um, detailed flowers. So we have a large one, a medium one. Let's do that here. And then a small one. Do I have it? Nope. And we'll add that. We'll just have to add that to this other blue one. So, okay. So there's our card. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Visit creativechelsea.com for a free tutorial of this project and to purchase the supplies needed. Have a creative day. Bye.